seeking input is that Prime Minister chairs BJP core committee meeting. BJP CEC holds meet on Lok Sabha and Assembly polls. A discussion held on Odisha seats is what we're picking up. Discussion on alliance and seats yet to conclude. Today, discussion on Sikkim seats likely. So that's the big input that we are uh, tracking as far as uh, the elections are, of course, concerned. This is in regard to how BJP is really looking at uh, their strategy as well. In fact, Prime Minister did chair a meet of BJP core committee meeting. That is where Amit Shah, the Home Minister, JP Nadda also do take, uh, took part. And discussion takes place for all seats of Odisha. Sikkim seats likely to be discussed today. But let me take that point across to my colleague Mohit, who joins me live. Mohit, very good morning to you. Of course, this is a key meet that we understand that was chaired by the Prime Minister. Essentially, what is the key takeaway in terms of this? Is that the fact that Sikkim, a discussion on the same for the seats, is likely to be held today as well? Well, you see, there was a core committee group of BJP that have was held yesterday. Andhra Pradesh, Sikkim, Odisha were discussed in that particular meeting. The CEC has not taken place. The third CEC will take place uh, most likely on Friday. So before that, the core committee groups of various states, various leaders come to Delhi and they have a discussion with the top leadership that these are the probable candidates and then they give the list to the top leadership of the BJP. Now before yesterday's core committee meeting of the states, an important meeting was held at the residence of Prime Minister Narendra Modi, which was also being attended by Home Minister Amit Shah and BJP President J.P. Nadda. The meeting lasted for more than three hours. What we are getting to know is that in this particular meeting, as Prime Minister was out and he was uh, campaigning in the southern states, uh, uh, Prime Minister took the stock of the situation, the various developments that have taken place, and the alliance in the states of uh, Maharashtra and Odisha specifically were discussed. Now, we know for a fact that how BJD and BJP uh, are trying to forge an alliance in Odisha, but the state leadership of the BJP is against that, according to the sources. And BJP is also not conceding the seats as much as the BJP wants. So that is one of the bone of contention. So whether that alliance happens or not, that remains to be seen. And yesterday, all the things were discussed regarding this matter. Now, we also know for a fact that how Raj Thakwe came to Delhi, he met Home Minister Amit Shah, Vinod Tavade, the General Secretary of the BJP, and hence inclusion of Raj Thakwe into the alliance of India and Maharashtra was also discussed. But the sources say that Raj Thakwe is asking for three seats, but the BJP is willing to give them one seat and more seats in the assembly elections. So clearly the alliance, specifically in the states of Odisha and Maharashtra, were discussed with the meeting in the Prime Minister and also the, the, the heavyweight seats, the VIP seats of Uttar Pradesh were also discussed, the seats of PLB, the seats of Sultanpur. Uh, Ghaziabad, uh, Prayagraj, Kaisar Ganj, from where uh, the current incumbent MP is uh, uh, Bridge Bhushan Charan Singh. So what we are getting to know is that this time around someone from his family can be given ticket by the BJP given the fact that how there has been a massive opposition against uh, Bridge Bhushan Singh, Charan Singh over the cases of, of the allegations that have been leveled by the, by the wrestlers. So it was a marathon meeting just before the core committee meeting. This meeting took place. Uh, the discussion was also on the seats right, in Mohit. Kerala and Karnataka. BJP knows that Kerala is their fourth when it comes to South India and hence they Mohit, want to retain that have to interject that you there, but for the moment, I appreciate you getting all inputs as far as what has happened so far and of course, clearly, what can really anticipate in terms of how this would pan out for the alliance, which we'll keep coming back to you get us more inputs, but for the moment, let's leave it.